My name is Rose Jane Solman, and I worked at Epstein Hill for 16 years. And while I was there, I fell in love with Jewish day school. My husband, David, he always said that he thought engineering was the most creative profession. So after David died, I had an opportunity to uh, do something in his memory. But then one day I had a brainstorm where I could combine what he, what he was most interested in, science and STEM and education for kids, with my love of Jewish day schools. And really what Rose Jane's dream was is that she wanted Jewish day schools to be equally as competitive with any other independent school. The goal was to have students think using all the different STEM fields and have them start to problem solve and be able to use a wide variety of materials and different skills. And this space has allowed students to create so many things. This room is always a buzz. And I think this place is really cool because it's like all the equipment that you need for like a project that you're doing. I think it's fun that we can use our own, like, like we can all be creative. It doesn't only have to happen in this space. They can use those skills everywhere. And also, when our roof is going to be going to the side, so when the water comes down, it's going to go down and on um, to the floor. Oh. No, it's moving. It's going. Yes. That guy's floating. Nice. Yeah! 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 to go through all, I think there's four or five of the hoops over there. We just tested our robot and we had to figure out how to balance it. All right, here's a goal, here's a challenge, here's a problem, how do you fix it? How are we able to take a design that uses electricity, uses motors and everything that's not supposed to go in water and put it in a pool? A lot of working in STEM is also being willing to be a risk taker and try things. Is everything going to be successful? No, and that's an amazing part. Oh, this didn't work quite well, let's build that up. And it's been a blast. One of the biggest goals is to have kids working together. And in that process, there's a lot of learning socially around negotiation and being able to hear other people's voices and appreciate new ideas. It just opens up so many new avenues and we see the growth in our children. The eighth graders go to Washington, D.C. and looking at the monuments that were part of that trip, and they use the Innovation Center tools and resources and materials to build monuments to World War II and to the Holocaust. That process of really thinking through what would we want to create and what are our materials that are available for us and how can we make something that'll be experiential for the person that sees this monument is just tremendous learning and it's so deep. When students leave VHS, the goal is that they're not just better students, but they're better people. It helps them enter high school and beyond with a sense of, I can do this, even if it's hard, and even if it seems like I might have to work at it a few times to get to the, to the end product, that's okay. Um, and that's a skill that you want for your whole life.